But I'm also struck by, you, we speak a lot about house prices and whether they'll go up or down. To me, what's terribly important is the social consequence of what has happened. Back in 1996, when this started, uh, the situation was that about 33% of the new mortgages approved were being approved to single people. Mm. These days, it is 73%. Back in 1996, it was the case that 51% of the mortgages approved were being approved for married people. These days, it's down to 8.3% of the mortgages approved are to married people. So the pressures and the strains are huge, and there are huge social choices being made underneath it all. And if you're thinking about buying to live in, yeah. you need a roof over your head. You could be paying large mortgages large rents it's a different equation and you might just say to yourself well there's no reason to think it's going to collapse there's no reason to think it's going to go the other way and keep going up maybe they'll buy I don't know I would hate to be in the situation of having to make up my mind I have <laughs> a huge sympathy for those people